For the first time ever, I went on a solo trip and it changed my life to two parts of Thailand, Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai. All by myself, just me, my passport, and my selfie stick. My first life-changing experience was walking up the staircase to heaven. I coined the name strictly because in my mind, it felt like I was walking upwards towards Christ. So I spent over an hour up there sharing intimate time with my heavenly father. In Chiang Mai and Rai, I literally went days without seeing anyone who looked like me, let alone anyone who can speak English. So I heavily had to rely on people's energy and my tour guide. My second life-changing experience was visiting the Wa Rung Kong Temple, better known as the White Temple. Built in 1997, the temple's white color symbolizes Buddha's purity. Its glittering mirror signifies the teaching of the Buddha to reflect kindness onto others. The white temple is guarded by dragons and mythical creatures. You see the hands? Yes, the hands reaching up symbolizes the way to happiness through overcoming cravings and temptations of the world. Sounds familiar? So even though I'm Christian, I was able to relate to some of the symbolism and I definitely connected to the white purity meaning, especially since my favorite color is white. Just look at this. Isn't it magnificent? I mean, I stayed here almost the whole entire day, which is the beauty of a solo trip because I was able to. I highly recommend a solo trip to everyone. Along my solo journey, I did all types of stuff. I went on a bamboo rafting ride. Rafting past elephants, taking bubble baths. <laughs> I watched kids just simply being kids. I spent time admiring a waterfall up close and which rainbow appeared behind it. See, it was like I was receiving messages from God the entire trip. So actually, I was only solo, but not alone. I went to this magical garden called the Doi Ing Tung National Park that made me feel like I was a princess in a Disney storybook movie. It was beautiful. I visited countless golden temples and I learned so much about the history and knowledge about Buddha and the Buddhist faith. Then I stayed at an elephant sanctuary called the Chai Ling Orchard. So I was basically living in the backyard of where elephants lived in their natural habitat. They were a thousand percent non-threatening. So they roamed freely and are very friendly when you feed them. <laughs> they even come up to your window each morning to have breakfast with you. So I fed them bananas and greens. Now that was an experience. So you see, I had to do this as a solo trip because the way my husband is set up, he would have never done this. He would have never wanted to go. <laughs> Having breakfast with elephants, absolutely not his type of trip. I also visited the Long Neck Karen village, which gave me a whole new appreciation to this tribe of people. So now I no longer want to wear the fake gold version of these necklaces now knowing what they mean. So I went from relaxing, just being in the moment, taking selfies here and there, eating delicious Thai food, minus the fried bugs, <laughs> and shopping. Oh, you know me, I had to get some shopping in there. But I had a priceless experience during my solo trip, especially since I ended it with releasing fire lanterns into the heavenly skies. It was my way of thanking God for blessing me with such a memorable experience. Now it's your turn. So book a solo trip this year. <laughs>